Hello guys, welcome. We're going to... Uh, this is part two. Now we're going we're to tell you how to make some money. Uh, with Bitcoin. With Bitcoins. Now, if you have... You have to spend money to make money, though. In Bitcoins. Only in Bitcoins. It, which is this page I have pulled up. You want to start out with these if you're going to Bitcoin, but you have to have the money to put into it. Yeah. Which next video will show you... If you don't have the money to put into it, how to possibly get the money to put into it. No guarantees, though. Bitcoins, in the, the long run, it, they're the quickest game. But you you have to stay up on top of the technology. When it first started out, it was on a computer processor. Which is Then they busy. found out the GPU was much better at Ten it. times faster. So it switched over to the GPU. Now they, they're dedicating these, these little units that are 30 watts. Well, the... the smallest one is 30 watts. Yeah, the smallest is 30 watts, and it's 10 times faster than the best graphics card. Maybe not 10 times faster. Well, quite a bit faster. Uh, At you, least 5 times faster. You can set up this thing called a farm that has 12 computers and barely gets 15 giga hashes, which is insane when and, it's... And you're talking that's massive thousands amounts of money. And massive amounts of money and power when this thing uses 30 watts and is so much cheaper than... A graphics card. Basically, this is the cost of one gra not even the cost of one graphics card that would get you maybe a sixth of the way to this power. So in giga it, hashes. In the the fact that this is using thirty watts compared to three hundred watts or more is in, in your electric bill is huge. Um, and the the heat in the room is yeah. insane. It could get up to 100 degrees in a room. To, to create a, a, a basically a bit a miner farm. farm requires a whole, well, it did require a whole lot of uh, capital. So there's proof right there that it can support itself. You can make money out of it because the people who do this are making money, plus they're spending $300 on a new card every time they want to increase their profit. Now, Whereas... With this, the newest technology, it's doing the same thing as five computers. Now, these are not the only ASIC units you can get. You can get smaller ones than this, which are a, like a tiny little box. You can go to this website, which is the only one I know where to get them, other than eBay. Uh, and their hash rate is not nearly close to... It's about to half as good as one of the high-end video cards. And only but it only costs you about sixty dollars, and only uses two point five watts because it's USB powered. Yeah, if you take ten of these and stack them on a USB hub, you then have three point three giga uh, giga. What is it? Giga, giga hashes. hashes. <laughs> but so, I mean, you can still build up if you can't afford to, you know, go out and buy one of the bigger units right away. And these are available rather quickly only in the united states on this website there might be other ones just i don't know these are the only place i've seen them other than ebay like i said but you can you can describe the problems butterfly labs is having because yeah butterfly labs was the the second company on the market to design their box uh, their the miners. first one was uh what Avalon or Avalon, or Avalon something, something like this, something like that, and um, they actually got theirs out to market. They're bit much bigger boxes, and they're much more and expensive. They're more expensive, and they're more fans, so they're louder and have more heat. And they only These come out in batches. Are the, the the smallest, most compact power ones there is, and when they had the design, they went to you know overseas and got their contracts and somewhere along the whole process of pre-orders to when they first started shipping they wound up into some kind of problem and uh, they weren't able to get their product out there uh, they had a whole bunch of upset customers but they are not vaporware if you if you go and you look on their site and you, you go to the um, updates uh, who does it butterfly labs no the the updates on Facebook where they're talking about the orders I don't know. Um, You're the only one who's looked into okay. this. I've looked into but, uh, mining. They, they are commit. They are fulfilling their commitments, and it seems that their their reason it's taking them as long as it is now to fulfill the commitments that they've already gotten is once they did get the parts, now they have to build all these by hand, and then they have to get them out in the mail. So and they're catching up about yeah, a week every day. So every they're like, they're doing it pretty quick. In a week, actually, it's about every week they're doing like a week and a half's worth of, you know, orders. So, 
well, actually, it's more like two and a half weeks of orders. But they're getting them out there. So they're up to October right now. So you figure if they continue, you, you should be able to get one within two and a half to three months, I'm assuming, if they continue at the rate they're going. It could be a little longer. could be shorter. It depends on if they, you know, obviously if they work at it and they continue, they'll get better at, you know, assembling these things. Now, what or they can hire somebody to help or something and get their commitments caught up. But they're not vaporware. You don't have to worry about it. If you want to order one, I would say you're completely fine to do so. Just understand you will be waiting at least two months to get it. Two or more months. Yeah. Now, one thing we forgot to mention about Bitcoin mining, it not only takes a lot of power out of your graphics card, and you have a risk of blowing it up if you try to push it too much, uh, which we have not experienced yet, and we've been mining for yeah, a few we, days. We've also been keeping our limits on the, po the processing power Low. down to about 60-70%. I've been doing 75 you set yours up to 100% at once. Yeah, at one point, but I definitely turned it down. It lagged a system up. <laughs> I couldn't do it. If you're going to set up a dedicated system, that is perfectly fine, but... If get you're a... planning on using your system, you're going to definitely want to get something like this. Uh, it tells you the temperatures in Celsius uh, for what it cur currently is and Fahrenheit. This is the minimum it's reached, and this is the maximum. Now, I've only gotten 61 Celsius running... Uh, both or we're not running both programs, but running a more advanced program, which we should probably show you now. Well, not quite yet. Okay, not quite yet. Because that's one we we found out when we got into other currencies, and it's actually really good at other currencies. Well, it's better at uh, it's better for other currencies because G U I miner only uses bitcoins. So if you're like, I want to mine litecoins, you're gonna have to find another miner for that. Which we'll tell you what litecoins are towards the end um, or next video yeah or next video but basically this is your next step and as you can see um, these these units get pricey if you can afford to drop the money on it though this is what's going to get you the most return if you put in these numbers into the calculator go ahead and go to the calculator okay so five giga hashes which is five thousand mega hashes so if you put in five giga hash and ignore the watts and Price well, you can because put, put the watts. It's thirty watts. Okay, so thirty watts. But if you don't really want to calculate your power, cost per watt is, is like twelve. Here is like twelve. 12 so. Not W. Okay. Um, and the price is off. Cost of hardware. I'm just gonna put that in there. Cost of hardware. What? It's two seventy four. And then time and frame then, ninety and then days. Calculate it. If it comes up with an error, just refresh. It happens to us all the time. If you look in one month, if at the current rate of mining. Now, remember, the more people that mine, the faster the mining goes, the harder it becomes. So the more people that get these units over time, that's gonna, those numbers are going to change. And go down. And then go down. Words. But at current, if you had one of these units right now and you plugged it in, in a month, if things didn't change drastically, you could look to make about $345. So it returns your money in a month, which then you can invest into another one. Which then would you'd be able to do in two weeks to get yeah. another one it if you're running both every two at the same weeks time. you could double your basically your power, and that's if you if you're going to get into this game and you're going to start that's what you would have to do in order to stay ahead of the curve. But you basically have to double as much as possible. But you have to make sure you don't flood it and start sucking the difficulty up. Yeah, you don't uh, you you want to stay in the you know range of around the middle. You don't want to be the strongest out there. You don't want to be the weakest. You want to be around the middle. You you, you don't want to basically push the curve so high that you have to have 10 of the $22,000 units to make any money. You know, that would be making it very pointless. So uh, definitely you want to start out and get yourself up to a comfortable level and stay there. And you want to, you know, if, if, if more and more people are getting on there and the, it goes up a little bit, just add that one extra piece to, to get yourself to that point. Um, that's one way to make uh, currency or online currency. We're going to show you in the next video how to make some a different way. On cryptocurrencies. See you guys next time. I hope you like the video. Goodbye.